السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين be patient my brothers and sisters things will come to you the goodness shall come be patient your problems will be resolved be patient you will see happier days be patient you will see a reward for everything you've done be patient justice will be served be patient it is a matter of time keep calling to allah be patient let me tell you get up for your prayer pray five times a day bear and endure remember when you endure for the sake of allah it is a type of patience and allah says innama yuwaffa sabiruna ajrahum bighayri hisab indeed allah will give back the reward for those who were patient who were patient uh, without a limit unlimited reward bighayri hisab no limit no account allah says he knows the type of patience you went through you suffered a loss be patient. You lost a loved one. Be patient. You went through divorce. Be patient. You're going through turmoil and turbulence. Be patient. At the same time, connect with Allah. Do the right things, not the wrong things. Because when we go through struggles and people say, be patient, bear sabr, it does not mean they want you to suffer. But what it does mean is they want you to connect with Allah in a beautiful way. And that will help ease your struggles, your difficulties, your suffering. But at the same time, if you need to resolve a matter, it will guide you towards solving the problem either by uh, doing something positive that will result in the build up of a relationship or something that you wanted or perhaps something that was not your first preference. For example, in the case of marriage and divorce, when we say be patient, we're talking of the struggles that you may be facing in marriage. Try to resolve them, but be patient in the process. And if you cannot resolve them, you may want to involve respectable people at a certain point. Because the first point of call is for you to try and resolve it between the two of you without telling anyone. Then you have to tell someone because there has to be an elder or someone from your system helping you and assisting you. And if it is toxic, if it is difficult. Bear patience, connect with Allah. He'll help you through it, but you may want to seek divorce or go through the divorce. You may want to give a divorce or seek a divorce or get a nullification, etc., depending on who you are and what you're going through. So when we say bear patience, in no ways are we telling you to continue living in a toxic situation that is destroying you, your mental health, your physical health, that is breaking you to pieces. That is not what we are saying. But here we're talking about connecting with Allah and thanking Allah and looking at the positives out of the negative while you are getting out of the situation.